Hey guys, uh, we have had another school shooting. Um, I believe it's 17 people were killed. And it's frustrating because we're now hearing that the FBI had gotten uh, tips about this person. We're hearing that there had been warnings, people knew, people had gone to the authorities and said, hey, and nothing was done. So, um, I don't know what else to say. The kid got his guns legally. Or the guy. And, uh, of course, the debate rages. So the debate's frustrating, at least on the internet, because you've got people that don't know what they're talking about saying, do something. Well, what is the something? Um, if it's just pass laws, uh, what are you gonna do? What, what's the law? So people say, well, ban the AR-15. Well, Virginia Tech, he used handguns and there was an assault weapons ban when uh, Columbine was done. And those are the only, those are just two right off the top of my head that I know they didn't use uh, an AR-15. So then people say, well, semi-automatics. No one needs a rifle like that, they're for, they're for the military. Well, most of your handguns are semi-automatic. Most of the modern handguns. Sure, there are revolvers out there, but your vast majority of handguns that people carry or have in their home for self-defense, they're semi-auto. And again, Virginia Tech and Columbine, semi-automatic handguns. A semi-automatic pistol is gonna be able to do the same thing that a semi-automatic rifle is gonna be able to do. So you try to talk about it and explain that to people. And the only thing they wanna hear is okay, we're gonna do something. But what is that something? If the something is you wanna ban a certain type of gun, it's not gonna fix anything. It's not gonna stop it. It's not gonna stop the, the problems that we have with, with people attacking soft target schools and stuff. I mean, there was, it, one of the things that, that drives me nuts about this is, is everything failed. So the FBI failed and there was a police officer who was armed on the campus. He wasn't there. Uh, the kid got his guns legally. What do you do when everything goes wrong? So I don't know that this is gonna help anyone, help their opinion, but if you're talking about doing something, look, if you're serious about it, you're gonna have to be able to amend the Constitution. You're gonna have to get rid of the Second Amendment. Now, you're probably gonna have to get rid of 350 million guns. It's not gonna happen. They're, they're, you're not gonna get people to turn in their guns. And people talk about Australia and their confiscation, their buyback, whatever the program you want to call it. I think it's something like two thirds of the people in Australia just kept their guns. They kept quiet about it. You know, I guess, if, I suppose if they go and shoot, they go out and, and they out back um, in the desert or whatever. If they do, I don't, imagine, I don't know how they get their ammo or whatever, but I mean, they're still out there. And in America, where there's way more people and there's way more guns, you're gonna have less than, you're gonna have results that you're less than happy with. I, I'm not saying that I know the answer, because I don't, but I do know that there are people out there that have ideas that are good and worth listening to, and they're usually people that understand guns a little bit. It's people that are actually looking for a solution 
that understand a semi-auto is a semi-auto. If you ban an AR-15, it's, it's not going to do anything. And just passing a law, just to pass a law, isn't a good idea, especially one that weakens the Bill of Rights. I think the Bill of Rights is important. You know, the, the government has been doing too many things that infringe on people's rights, and, and, and that's not just about the Second Amendment. I mean, I'm sure if you follow me on Twitter or on Facebook, you've seen me talk about civil asset forfeiture and how horrible I think that program is. I'm not a fan of the Patriot Act. Uh, I don't like the NSA spying. I don't like the idea of the uh, federal government being able to just snatch up people without due process. And I don't think that empowering the government to just confiscate guns just because is a good idea. And I understand that nowadays or specifically now, or that's not a popular opinion. So, yeah, those are my thoughts, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and uh, please go ahead and click that like button, share and subscribe, right? Take care.